Good Monday morning to you and welcome to another edition of Monday Motivations with me, Dr. Pete. And I want to just start this morning by saying once again, thank you to all of you who are my Patreon supporters. I really do appreciate it. You help make these videos and much more content possible. And so thank you so much for supporting this ministry. If you are interested in supporting this ministry and you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, you can find a link in the description below. Let me uh, start today by just reading this text. It jumped out to me. Uh, when I was reading through the book of Isaiah, it comes from Isaiah chapter 61, starting in verse 1. And I'm just going to read verse 1 for the sake of time, but a great chapter. And uh, I would encourage you to go read it for yourself. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and freedom to the prisoners. I'm just going to keep going. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of our God's vengeance to comfort all who mourn. And he just keeps going and going and going. So there's a lot we could talk about in this. I mean, number one, I want you to understand that God is for you, not against you. Um, God's favor is upon you. But here, here's what I really want you to grab today. This is what really stuck out to me as I was listening to the Spirit speak to me uh, through this verse. What really jumped out to me is how sensitive to the Spirit Isaiah was. He was sensitive to the Spirit. Now, I, I don't know about you, but this corona crisis has made us all more sensitive. Um, I was up in San Antonio the other day. I haven't been going to San Antonio a lot, but I was up in San Antonio the other day. I was out in the parking lot of the Sam's that's there, and uh, there were some people standing around, and several of them started coughing, hacking. They were a long way away from me in the parking lot, but it caught my attention. I was very sensitive to the sound of a cough because the corona crisis is going on. Uh, two months ago, five months ago, eight months ago, certainly a year ago, somebody coughing in a parking lot uh, a long distance from me would not have even registered in my mind. But on this day, it registered. I was looking. Where's that cough coming from, right? Um, I, I find myself being more sensitive even to myself. If I feel like I'm about to sneeze uh, and I'm in a public place, I do everything I can not to sneeze not because I'm scared I'm gonna spread the corona, but because I don't want people to look at me and judge me and have thoughts about, you know, oh gosh, that guy's probably sick, right? It, it's made us all more aware, it's made us more sensitive. I carry a bottle of hand sanitizer with me and I never used to do that. I, you know, maybe had one in the car. Uh, I would certainly wash my hands before I would eat and, and things like that. But let me tell you, I am more sensitive now. And I wash my hands after I touch anything before I'm going to put my hands on my face. My hands are washed. And I'm going to make sure that I have hand sanitizer with me at all times. It's a simple step, right? It, it doesn't make any sense not to do it. But I'm very sensitive now to, hey, I touched something. I need to wash my hands. Or, hey, I'm about to eat and I've touched something since I last washed my hands. Let me pull that hand sanitizer out and wash my hands again. I've become extremely sensitive. I think most people uh, over the last few months in, in particular have become more sensitive to things around uh, revolving around our health and revolving around this virus. And so I, I wanna just mention that today because I wanna encourage you to be as sensitive to the spirit as you are to other things like the corona crisis, like the coronavirus. I want to encourage you this week to, to listen. What is God telling your heart? What is God speaking into your life? When you read the Word of God, be sensitive to the Spirit. Be sensitive to what God is trying to speak into your life. I want you to be able to hear the gentle whisper of God in your ear. I want you to be able to hear the gentle whispers of God in your heart. And in order for you to do that, you've got to be sensitive to the Spirit. You can't be distracted. You can't be thinking about all kinds of other stuff. You can't be worried. You can't be doing all that. Otherwise, you're going to miss it. You've got to be sensitive 
to the Spirit. Isaiah here, if you read through 61, you can tell this is a man who was sensitive to the Spirit of God. He knew what God's Spirit was calling him to do. He knew what God's Spirit, how God's Spirit was calling him to live. And you can live the same way if you will be sensitive to the Spirit, the way God is moving around you. So this week, look for God on the move. This week, look for God to speak into your life. This week, have anticipation that God is going to do something through you and speak something to you. I pray that you have a great week. I pray that you are sensitive to the Spirit as you walk with the Lord in the days ahead. God bless you.